player, I'm Anthony East. This is my uh, six foot two with two um, fish only with live rock marine tank. So just run through how it works basically. So we've got two weirs. There's the right hand weir, left hand weir. Water's pumped up out of the sump through the spray bar and overflows into the weirs. You can see there, I've siliconed in some hubs into the bulkhead. Um, that's to ensure that the water enters that pipe without any any air gaps. So basically, you don't hear the water splashing down the pipe. It keeps the whole thing quieter. At both sides. So the water obviously rises in the tank as it comes out of the spray bar, overflows into the weir through the most combs at the top. You'll notice the, the actual water height in the tank is probably half to three quarters of an inch somewhere around there, higher than the, the bottom of those, those combs. So the water flows under the hood. There you can just see underneath there, through to the back of the tank. That's the pipe, so you can see the wheel there. That's the pipe coming off the back of the bulkhead into a T. And then that pipe goes down to the sump. This cap, this is an end cap. Um, you can tell there, this is the Durzo part. If we didn't have it, that's it. the difference in noise. This really wants drilling. Um, a 6mm hole in here with a piece of an airline and that um, keeps the whole thing quiet but I've just sat that cap in there for now so the water travels down that pipe into the salt so that's that grey pipe going down the back there it travels all the way down The elbow goes into the bottom of the first chamber of the sump, which you can see is full of live rock. And then the second right hand wheel over there, the same thing, pipe goes down the back of the tank, then a great pipe, everywhere along. There, into the top of the first chamber. I've basically done that so I've got water flowing into the chamber at the top and bottom just to add to the circulation. Room. So it overflows the first chamber into the second, which is where the skimmer is. There's the pump down there. This is a uh, Sharan skimmer. The water comes out of the skimmer through this pipe over this this is the deep sun bed or dsb what comes over there into this part here which is actually the second chamber so all of that along there is second chamber it's as if the, the dsb in effect is sat in the middle of the um, the second chamber you'll notice the teed off here and here and um, this is a tee from the main pipe the right hand weir which feeds the DSB with the uh, tank water. This one obviously is teed off from the skimmer so it feeds it with um, the oxygenated water from the, from the skimmer. These elbows basically if I twist it I can alter the flow into the DSB section depending how much I twist like this part of the tee. And the same on this side. The DSB works better with them um, with a reduced flow. Um, in there we've got we've got some live rock, a bit of live rock rubble in the corner, and uh, Cheeto. Strip out some of the nitrates. In here, I don't know if you'll see them or not. But there are a few of 
few little bugs floating about in there. You'll see some of them scurrying about. The DSV is made up with um, crushed coral in the bottom, then medium. Let's turn this light off. You can't really see it. There's crushed bark coral in the bottom, uh, medium coral sand in the middle, and um, a fine um, sugar sign sand on, on top. So the, the water comes in the, from the two weirs into the first chamber, over spills into the second. Some of it is pulled out by the skimmer, which is then returned into the second chamber over here. Part of it goes into the DSB. The rest of the water travels under the DSB. You'll see under there this. A couple of um, there's two 300 watt heaters underneath that section. So the water travels under the DSB. And I guess the first bath of wall comes up, meets the other water, two mix, and then a drop into this section, which is the bubble stop. The water travels down under the bubble stop, back up, and then into the final chamber, which has got the some return pump. The water then pumped out of here, up that white pipe, all the way up behind the tank, and then comes out up there through the spray bar, and then over spills into the weirs and goes all the way around again. Now, also in the sump, I've got a this is an external filter, and um, it's pulling water out of the final chamber and travelling up through that pipe which again goes up the back of the tank, up and over, and then back down that pipe there, and um, disappears into the substrate. You may be able to see it better. And the back here, I'm going to turn this off now. Yeah, there's the pipe work. Um, that white pipe work is basically got all the live rock. Um, if you see the cable, yeah, you can see a couple of cable ties there. The rock strapped to that pipework. Um, and you may be able to see in here, yeah, if the squirrel fish moves out of the way, there's a hole there. That's one of about probably 20 or 30 holes that I've drilled in that pipework. So the water is pushed out through the external, through that pipe, and then it comes out through the holes, which then is directly onto the rock that's strapped to it. Just helps with the um, biological filtration. We've got three power heads in here. That's a some sum 5,000 litre per hour. Um, there's another one there. They're both the same, both 5,000. Uh, that's a tons 3,000 at the back. So that's 13,000. Um, and then together with the with the return pump and the external, um, I've got just over 16,000 litre per hour uh, water movement. So that's the uh, the basic setup. You notice the um, there's a bit of sand in the bottom here of the of the sump, and there's two reasons for that. Firstly, when I put the uh, the substrate in, obviously the, it floats about all over. Um, plus the substrate is in the DSP, so part of it's settled, obviously in different sections of the sump. Um, but the other reason is. Um, He's about two foot tall and um, he's two next month. Uh, he's called Max. Um, he loves getting in here and um, playing with a live sand pit. So I've got to make sure that I uh, get a bolt put on these doors before he creates absolute carnage. So that's that bit. Um, and that's how it works. The whole thing was built on um, a practical fish keeping um, forum. So, any other details, always have a look on there. Thank you very much.